For this episode of Hidden Huntington Beach, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to take you on a walking tour and a driving tour throughout the city. Whether you're local or a tourist, I think you're going to enjoy this. We're going to start with those brick walls right over my shoulder, and I'll tell you about those in just a second. I'm Chris Epting. I'm a writer and a storyteller, the author of several books and many articles about Huntington Beach. And what I like best is uncovering history that you may not be familiar with. This is Hidden Huntington Beach. Hidden Huntington Beach can be found all throughout the city, but you just have to know where to look. For instance, right now, I'm at the Public Works Yard on Gothard between Warner and Slater. See those brick walls behind me? You may pass those and think nothing of them. It's not until you go on the other side when the hidden history is revealed. Follow me and I'll show you. Check this out. What's on the other side of the brick walls? original statues and emblems from City Hall, Huntington Beach, built in the early 1920s, 1923 to be exact. City Hall was there from 1923 till about 1974 when they destroyed it. But these precious artifacts were saved and you would never know it if you were driving by on Gothard. Looking at them, they're real, I mean, they're incredible pieces of history. Here we see, this was the state symbol, Eureka on there, the emblem, and over here, we see the Huntington Beach Corporation logo with Catalina in the background. Um, I, again, when I first saw these, it, it blew me away because I've studied so many old photos of the original City Hall. I mean, City Hall survived the 1933 earthquake. It was really the civic center for the beginning of Huntington Beach. And also they saved two of the eagle statues that were on the outside of the building. You see one of them right here. Again, these are classic pieces of hidden Huntington Beach history that, that stood long and proud over the city starting in the early 1920s. But check this out. I've been down here a lot of times to take photos of these and show people these things. There's something I discovered today I've never noticed before. And I just literally, right before we started shooting, it caught my eye and it took my breath away. I'm gonna reveal it to you right now. Check this out. This is mind blowing for me. Um, just to give you some background, when the city was originally laid out in 1904, the first map, there was a street called Railroad Avenue. That's where all the red car trains ran. Sometime before 1922, it became Lake Street, but you could still find these words embedded in the sidewalks over there, Railroad Avenue. They've all long since been taken away, or so we thought. People have often wondered why the city had to remove all of them, and did any exist? We've been sort of looking for them for years. Well, guess what? One of them does still exist here at the city yard. Credit to the city for picking this up and saving it. This is a huge save, wonderful piece of hidden Huntington Beach history. I've never seen it here, so I'm really excited. You should come down and check it out. But in the meantime, we have a tour to continue, so let's go ahead and head downtown now. Continuing our hidden Huntington Beach walking tour through downtown. We're here on Lake Street by 12th Street, and you probably know Lake Park. I mean, there's a beautiful plaque here placed a number of years ago. Lake Park was established in 1912. The city actually purchased this five acre lot for $10 from the Huntington Beach Company. There was originally, it was called Lake Park because there was a shallow fly fishing lake here that a lot of people enjoyed over the years. And there's a wonderful photo here where you see the lake and you see the oil wells behind it. There are a couple of other structures here we're gonna look at at the other end of Lake Park that had a lot of history, some of it hidden, some of it not. Come with me and I'll show it to you. Wow, this is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. Right behind the scout cabin, as I'm walking around, I notice this plaque identifying this tree as the Walter Knott tree. Presumably, this is from the day in 1961 that was declared Walter Knott Day in Orange County, when trees were planted in his honor in many cities throughout the county, including right here in Huntington Beach at Lake Park. I've never seen this. It just goes to prove once more you always have to keep your eyes open. You never know when you're gonna stumble upon some hidden Huntington Beach. So again, the tree right behind the scout cabin, come check out the Walter Knott tree. Onward. 
As I said, Lake Park holds a lot of great hidden Huntington Beach history. The Boy Scout cabin is not so hidden, but this plaque is around the back of the building. It states that the cabin was built in 1924 by the Lions Club, a local carpenters union, and the Edison Company, as well as some other groups. It's a very famous local landmark. Again, this plaque was placed in 1974 to commemorate all of the scout history here in Huntington Beach and Lake Park. What I find kind of funny and, and semi-hidden Huntington Beach history is over here, on the day that plaque was placed, on May 4th, 1974, somebody had the idea to inscribe their initials in the wet concrete as this was all being created. So a fun little touch. We're gonna to go around the other side and look at the scout cabin from the front and also at the 1938 Recreation Center, also a very historic spot here in Lake Park. Last but not least here in Lake Park, right behind me is the Recreation Center built in 1938. Many of you, I'm sure, who live in Huntington Beach, who grew up here, have had uh, events here. There have been weddings here, all kinds of things. In World War II, it was actually taken over as a military center. So again, Lake Park, from the beautiful plaque to the Scout Cab and the Rec Center, great open space to come enjoy some history, hidden and otherwise. Now, on to our next stop. This is one of my favorite stops on a hidden Huntington Beach downtown walking tour. It's the original fire station bell, which used to be downtown. Thankfully, they saved us. By the way, we're standing right by the corner of Frankfurt and Lake Street by the Lake Fire Station. And it, again, it goes back to 1909. It was there until 1981 in downtown Huntington Beach. It was moved over here after that. And, uh, you know, they don't, always, they don't always save these things. So thankfully, they did. It's a great piece of history. It's not that hidden. Uh, it's out here in the open, but you just, I'm sure many of you have passed by and not known this was here in front of the fire station. So whenever the city, any city, can protect and preserve a piece of history like this, I think we're all better for it. So again, you want to come check this out. It's a great photo op. I think your kids will like it. Corner of Lake at Frankfurt by the Lake Fire Station, the original 1909 Fire Department Bell. Just about a half a block away from the Lake Fire Station, if you just come down Frankfurt and Cross, Alabama, in front of Steve's Liquor, which is another great old building in Huntington Beach, you'll find this relic from 1950. Back then, they would hang the mailboxes. These posts were popular all over the United States. Again, another piece of hidden Huntington Beach that you may not be familiar with that you might pass every day, but it's worth checking out. I'm glad they've left us here. They don't hang mailboxes on it anymore, but it's, uh, it's, I think it's a nice part of the walking tour. So I encourage you, after going over and checking the bell out, come check out the mailbox post here at the corner of Frankfurt and Alabama and now on with our trip. Okay for the next site on our Hidden Huntington Beach historic walking tour I'm gonna need you to need you to look down and when you wander downtown looking down really has its rewards. I'm at the corner of Pecan and 8th and as you approach the corner here if you look down you will see these initials embedded in the sidewalk. J-E-B. What do those stand for? James E. Brunting, more than 100 years ago, was a local contractor and really involved in the city. He would put his initials in here when he laid sidewalks down. So if you see these initials anywhere downtown, you know this sidewalk is more than 100 years old. Now, we know this is a great piece of Hidden Huntington Beach. There's something else in the sidewalk a couple of steps away. I'm going to show you right now. Let's go check it out. All right, so our next stop on the Hidden Huntington Beach walking tour is my favorite building in Huntington Beach. We're still here at the corner, obviously, of Pecan and 8th. And when this was originally built in 1904, it was the Evangeline Hotel, a really well-known hotel. What makes it notable is that Civil War veterans would stay here when they would gather for their Grand Army of the Republic reunions. And so that, that's one thing alone, the thought of all the Civil War veterans staying right here. And we have photos of those veterans posing right there on the balcony. After that, it became a youth hostel, which it was until not that many years ago, in the last 10 or 15 years or so. But the fact that it's still here today is remarkable, a really beautiful historic landmark here in Huntington Beach. But as I said earlier, there is some hidden history I want to show you right now. So let's get to that right now. 
This is why you have to always look down. Hidden history right in front of the old Evangeline Hotel building. A horse hitching rings that dates back more than 100 years. We have a photo we can show you where you actually see a horse standing right where I'm kneeling right now that would have been tied to this ring a long time ago. Now, while we were here, we also had a chance to meet the youth ministry that now lives in this house. And they did us the pleasure of waving us on to the final stop on our tour. So we want to end this episode of Hidden Huntington Beach, the historic walking tour, here at one of my favorite former sites. I wish it was still here, it's not, but there is a plaque to commemorate the Golden Bear, one of the most famous clubs in, uh, in music history. Everybody played here. You can read the plaque, everyone from Blondie, Jackson Brown, uh, the Birds, Chick Corea, John Denver, Peter Gabriel, Dave Mason, everybody right here. I'm right on Main Street by PCH uh, in downtown. So if you do a little bit of a walking tour, if you wander a bit, make sure you wind up here. Check out who played here. Maybe you saw some shows here. And once you're here, hey, you're downtown right by the pier so you can enjoy yourself even more here in Huntington Beach. I want to invite you to visit our Facebook page, which is called simply Hidden Huntington Beach. There you can find all kinds of photos, stories, movies, all sorts of things that get added all the time. In the meantime, I want to thank you for watching another episode of Hidden Huntington Beach, and we'll see you next time.